Hello students, today we are going to cover the topic electric shock about which we often hear about. Now before starting with the topic, if you want to improvise and excel in Max and Science, then do check out the micro courses offered by Infinity Learn. The link of the website and details are given in the description. So coming back to our topic, before going on to the electric shock, let us first understand that a human body is actually having some resistance and this resistance varies from very low values of 100 ohm to very high values up to 5 lakh ohms. Now the difference is based on the circumstances. Now the resistance of the body is very high if the skin of the body is dry and the resistance of the body decreases drastically if the skin is wet and if it is wet with salt water then it reduces up to around 100 ohms. Now let us take an example that if we have a battery of 12 volts and there are two terminals to the DC battery one is positive terminal and one is negative terminal and if somebody touches this two terminals then there will be a flow of current through the body and it can be given by the ohm's law. So current flowing will be given by I is equal to V by R. The voltage as we said is how much? 12 volts and on an average what we can take is let us assume the skin is dry and the resistance is around 1 lakh. So the current that will be flowing through this body will be 0 0.00012 ampere and this current is very minimum when such very small current passes through the human body it does not affect the functioning of the various organs which are there inside the body like heart liver and etc now going ahead if i take an example of the live wire that we have at our home which supplies the electricity the potential in these wire is around 240 volt now if in this case if we again assume the resistance to be 1 lakh the amount of current flowing will be how much it will be v by r which is 240 divided by 1 lakh and this will come out to be 0 0.0024 ampere now please understand any current any current above 0 0.001 ampere it is felt by the body and what do we mean by felt by the body? So when the current flowing through the body actually disturbs the functioning of the organs inside the body and this is what we called as, this feeling is called as electric shock. Now going ahead, if the current continues to flow through the body, it damages the tissues of the body and these tissues which are damaged leads to decrease in resistance of the body. And we have already seen over here that current and resistance are inversely proportional. So if the resistance decreases, current increases if the current is flowing continuously through the body. So if the current flowing through the body after increasing, it reaches to a value of around 0 0.07 ampere, it affects the functioning of the heart as well and it could prove fatal if it is allowed to pass for more than a second. We should be very careful around the electrical lines. So what we have understood up till now is electric shock is experienced whenever there is a potential difference and there is this current flowing from one part of the body because one part is at a higher potential compared to the other part. Now this electric shock also depends on the amount of current that flows on the body and it is very briefly guided by how much is the resistance of the body and we have seen that if the current keeps on flowing continuously the tissues of the body gets damaged and the resistance decreases further and current goes on increasing and therefore we can write current is inversely proportional to resistance. So if the current keeps on flowing for a higher duration its value is about to increase and it can become fatal uh, if it reaches 0 0.07 ampere. Now the one question that people have is 
why not the birds sitting on the electric wires feel the electric shock so the reason is very clear the one thing that we have mentioned over here is first thing that we should have is potential difference between the two parts where the current is supposed to flow now these birds if you observe they are sitting on a single wire which is having a single potential so both their legs are having single potential same potential there is no potential difference that exists and therefore no current flows through them in case they are touching two different wires which are at two different potentials then they will also be feeling the electric shock i hope you all have understood the concept of electric shock thank you very much